Everything is gonna go over the rice. Ho ho ho. Hi, I'm Dee from Dee Levy Life and welcome to my channel. Hmm. I'll get some soup, chicken, ground beef, pork chop. are like egg rolls and I got some chicken here steak Italian sausage I seriously need to get back to meal planning again on my channel it not only saves myself time money and stress it also gets me motivated to try and share new recipes with you I actually like the time saving part to reduce that every evening struggle of, oh shoot, what to cook for dinner tonight. <laughs> they say shop from what you already have. So I like to take a quick look into my freezer, fridge, and pantry and let the brainstorming begin. I also love to find recipes on Pinterest, which you can also find me at D Lovely Life. If it's not from Pinterest, then I look into my own cookbooks at hand. I love, 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 love cookbooks. I love checking them out from the library or buy them at thrift stores, whatever. I love cookbooks. I try to rotate by donating one to get another one. I never had the time to enjoy cooking until recently as I dropped my career to be a caregiver full time to my mom. She's my biggest fan in cooking. We cook together. Well, kind of, sort of. This book, found it at a thrift store. I love going thrift store shopping. Best loved slow cooker recipes. And it's really, it has a lot of good recipes for the crock pot. And I have not um, used it that much. So I went ahead and I took it out. And I found this teriyaki chicken I'm gonna try. And I also have some of like vegetable rolls in my freezer. So I'm gonna also use that to go with this over some rice. A first meal plan for the year, uh, week of January 10th to the 16th on Monday. I'm gonna try a new recipe, the mozzarella mushroom white wine chicken. I'm gonna serve that over rice. You can find that on my Pinterest. On Tuesday, I decided we we're gonna grill up some steak and I'm gonna make some steak kebabs and with vegetables like green bell pepper, red bell pepper, zucchini, and some red onion. I don't have any mushrooms, but that's okay, we'll make do. I'm just gonna serve that over a little bit of rice, but I'm also gonna serve it with a green salad, so that should be plenty. On Wednesday, I'm going to make my Italian breaded pork chops. I believe I have a recipe video on that one too. I'll try to link it down below. And I'm gonna try a new recipe from Rachel Ray, 30 Minute Meals. I think this is her number two book. She looks so young, doesn't she? <laughs> Remember when her 30 Minutes Meals were like all over TV when it first started out? I'm gonna try her recipe in there, her cheesy or so, because I have two boxes of that. And I really, I don't 
really ever use it so that would be a perfect time to use that up and i also have another bag of salad so i'm gonna just make a green salad with that thursday since i have the frozen chicken noodle soup i decided i'm gonna go ahead and thaw that out and we're gonna do like a salad and soup night and then i also have some rolls that i can use up that's in the freezer as well so we'll make that um, pretty easy on a Thursday night. Friday, I'm going to make spaghetti and my meatballs. I definitely have a video on that one. I will try to link that down below in the description box. And I'm just going to serve that with garlic bread. So that's going to be a really hearty meal on a Friday night. And then on Saturday is going to be a new recipe here. This is going to be actually, I should have put a uh, CP for crock pot. The teriyaki chicken. Oh, I'm going to serve that with the vegetable rolls that I bought from Costco. Yeah, I guess like a, a vegetable roll. What's the other roll I'm thinking about? Like a spring roll, spring roll, vegetable roll. So I'm going to serve that with over a little bit of rice cannot wait for Saturday actually that's gonna be really good <laughs> and then on Sunday I decided um, if I just do like takeout all I have to get at the grocery store for this week's meal plan is only breadcrumbs and garlic bread so that's a total score trying to use what I have in my freezer trying to incorporate new recipes so that I can start playing around with new recipes but I think that will work for this week Especially I'm throwing in some more green salads. I really want us to get more green in our meals. This one has green salad, green salad, <laughs> green salad. And I guess Friday and Saturday is going to be really carbs. So I'm hoping maybe Sunday, maybe we can go out for fish or something like that. I don't know. But anywho, that is my meal plan. Next is the mozzarella mushroom white wine chicken over rice. All right, I'm going to make a chicken, mushroom, cream sauce, thingy-bajiggy type of recipe. I'm totally tweaking it. I think it's going to be fun. So I have a little bit of olive oil in there, and I'm going to add a little bit of butter. I am defrosting my chicken in very warm water. It's getting nice and soft. I have my oven preheating at 365 degrees. I'm gonna bake the chicken slow and steady. For this recipe, I'm gonna need flour, granulated garlic. I could add, I think I might dice up some cloves of garlic as well. Salt and pepper. I have some chicken broth here, some Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, and I also have some shredded Parmesan cheese. Now the recipe calls for mozzarella, but I really don't want to defrost my mozzarella. I'd rather just use Parmesan and I'm going to add fresh garlic. I think that's going to be really good. And I need a little can of mushrooms. If you have fresh Mushrooms, seven ounces of fresh mushrooms. I'm gonna use this can of pieces and stems. This is a seven ounce can of mushrooms. I coated them with olive oil on the top. I like my skin on. These are chicken thighs, and this is gonna be plenty. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the garlic powder, salt, yeah, pepper, like that. I'm tweaking this recipe to what I want, and I'll write mine below, but the original can be found on my Pinterest page. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter, and then I'm gonna place it into the oven. Now, it says to dread it with flour. Since I'm gonna bake it, I'm gonna omit the flour, I decide. Then I'm gonna stick this in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check on it. You gotta remember, it's also gonna cook more with the sauce.
Oh my goodness, this is smelling super delicious. So I put this in, it bubbled for about 30 more minutes. Chicken is done. The sauce is done. Now I just have to add cheese on top and I'm gonna sprinkle that next. First the grated, just to kinda thicken up the sauce a little bit since I omitted the flour. There we go. Mm, smells good. Now the, the shredded Parmesan. Voila! And then that's gonna go back into the oven. About another five or so minutes, but I already have the oven turned off so that the cheese can melt and do its thing and the sauce can hopefully thicken up a little bit. If you need to, I would just add a little bit more of cheese. Holy moly. Now, everything's gonna go over the rice. Ho, ho, ho. The rice, I use a rice cooker. The rice is still going. I use the rest of the chicken broth in there to cook the rice. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, smells really good. Got the cheese on there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And you can add whatever you want. Cheese or cheese or more cheese. <laughs> oh my God, this was so good. So good. Definitely everybody agreed. It's a keeper. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye. For more of my meal plans, click here or continue watching more cooking with Dee there. And don't forget to click my icon to subscribe.